Let's learn a little about the Blue Ridge Community Theater. Can you share how the community theater came about? It started with an ad in the paper for anybody interested in performing arts group. Um, that would have been 1998. Mm -hmm. And the group showed up and uh, from there they formed a group that was a gypsy theater initially, performing in churches, performing at the middle school auditorium. They would have to set up the stage every night and break it down every night, and then would run the show hmm. for a couple of weeks. The beginning is 25 years ago. We were actually celebrating our 25th anniversary. We got our first uh, own space on Main Street. We rented what was the kitchen store. I don't know what it is now to say the truth, but it was a very small little theater. We filled it every show, 40 people, 50 people maybe, mm -hmm. because we oversold. <laughs> uh, then we moved, we got our uh, wits about us and we um, rented out space at Hampton Square as it was being built out and we built it out. And we were there for seven years. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then had the opportunity to buy our own space. Uh, a burned a, out automotive. A burned out warehouse, <laughs> automotive warehouse, yeah. But they were willing to sell to owner finance it so we could actually um, manage it. And that's what brings us to today. We moved in here in 2009 and have grown into a main stage, black box, live music is better, Sunny D Children's Theater. Looking ahead, what future goals and aspirations do you have for the theater and how do you plan to achieve them? Very good question. One, we continue to, to continue our quality. We want to be the best theater in the United States, not the best community theater, but the best theater. So we're going to continue to grow our quality. Our Sunny D Children's Theater is growing by leaps and bounds, so we were we accentuated those programs. We're getting into musicals. We've just done a lot of creative things. And I think the next, what I look forward to is the next 25 years. I think one of the assets that we forget about is what we offer to adult volunteers also. People who have never been on stage, who have never thought about theater. There is no skill set, I believe, that cannot be used in theater, whether it's addressing calling cards or performing on stage, we have room for everyone. What is the funniest team tradition or inside joke at the theater? Well, we <laughs> discourage them <laughs> uh, during the last show. Last performances are notorious for pranks and uh, we feel like everybody's entitled to see a good quality show, but we have had a few that were real zingers one of my favorite mm -hmm. is Dick Kelly. Mm -hmm. uh, first time on stage, it was bus stop. Um, he could never remember his lines and he played the sheriff. And so he always had his lines in the newspaper. And so the, the sheriff would always sit down like he's reading the newspaper and he had his lines in the paper that he would read. The last show, they thought it would be funny. They replaced his lines with pages from the Kama Sutra. And he didn't know it, and he's on stage, and he opens it, <laughs> and to say the least, he froze. <laughs> I mean, actually, a great tradition for every show is the cast party at the oh, end, yeah. and mm -hmm. that's when uh, yeah, everybody gets to have the that bittersweet moment that they're glad it's over, and they're also sad that they know that that time and space will never repeat itself, and that you know it was a. Uh, a one-time experience. And Anything else you want to share about the theater, upcoming shows, how to volunteer, or donate? Okay, the show we're getting ready to open is Thursday on night. Stage. Well, oh. on Thursday night is last five years. It's in our black box. If you've never been in the black box, it's a small, very intimate setting. We're doing our first musical in there. It's a two-person mm -hmm. musical, very, very uniquely structured play of a couple that tells their story from the start of it and from the end of it at the same time. One starts at the end, one starts at the beginning. They meet in the middle when they are married and then go there on in time. And it's a really lovely, lovely show. Open mm -hmm. Thursday. Then our first mainstay show is the Great American Trailer Park Musical. It is rowdy, raunchy, and rude. 
<laughs> and rated R. And, <laughs> and rated R. And rated R. But it is very, very funny. And it's not any worse than what mm -hmm. you see on TV. So don't be scared of the R rating. If you want to volunteer, show up on a Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Um, we have a number of ways people can volunteer. Set crews, paint crews, costumes. They can be on stage. They can be backstage. They can work in the front office. They can. There's any number of things that will plug you into what you're interested in and get you working with a, a really fun group of folks. And we could not exist without donors. Only 45% of our income comes from ticket sales. If it was not our donors, Blue Ridge would not have this wonderful tapestry of art that you're standing in now. And that's a wrap.